Hey y'all, Jesse Peterson here with Let's Make Art. I'm a mixed media artist and I love doing art journaling and today I have a fun postcard for you. Ooh. We like to, this is Keenan. Oh, hello. Keenan. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> He's our art cheerleader, cameraman, all of the good things. Um, so we, this is a part of our Let's Make Art Matter program, which we love. And um, every month we come together as a community to create small acts of kindness through art. And this month we're sending some encouragement to Morgan. Aww. She's really cute. She's four years old and she has aplastic anemia. So that means her immune system isn't working properly and she can't be around anyone or go anywhere. And with the pandemic and all the things that have been happening with that, that makes everything a little bit harder with her diagnosis to deal with. Um, so receiving pretty postcards from all of us would help brighten Morgan's days. Absolutely. So that's what we're here to do today. Brighten Morgan's day. That's so lovely. Morgan's a great person and needs a smile from us. She's cute. Um, so since we've been working in the once upon a time theme and kind of revisiting the fairy tales of our younger years, um, I thought it would be fun to do something magical for Morgan. So we're going to do this and it's going to be easy. So easy. Um, and I left some room up here so we could do some added text or any kind of fun things you want to write in there. I thought we could change it up for her if you, if you'd like to do that. Now, if you are a subscriber with Let's Make Art and Art Journaling, you will get one of these already um, addressed and stamped and ready to go. But if you're not, you can totally still participate. You can just grab four by six, I think is what this is, yeah, four by six paper and turn it into a postcard and then you can get the information from hello at letsmakeart.com. Our customer happiness team will hook you up, so. They're great. They are great. So this is your opportunity to put some good vibes in the world and paint along with us. So we're going to use these supplies, Dina Wakely acrylic paint, sky and black and sand. And then we're going to make it glittery and awesome with the stickles. And we're going to use the solar flare. And we are also going to use our gel, jelly roll, tin, white pen for um, this kind of little magic. Mm. And we'll be using our round eight brush. And if you want, you can also use a black pen. There you have it can be fun, simple, good stuff. Excellent. Oh yeah, you're also gonna need your outline. Um, this guy right here and some of this magic ah. graphite paper. I had to think about what it was called graphite for a minute. Graphite paper. The old graphite paper. The so. elusive. <laughs> the trans, <laughs> the fair rent per. <laughs> what is happening <laughs> over there? No, no, nope, no nothing, answer. No answer. Like, yep, I'm not sure what you're referring to. <laughs> I can't rewind and rewind. <laughs> this is Keenan after lunch. <laughs> if you wanted to know what it was like after, lunch, after he eats a hamburger. That should be alive. Ah, we'll go to Keenan after lunch. <laughs> okay, I'll just line that up so I can have my princess right on the postcard where I want it. It's after lunchtime with Keenan. Still going with that. All right. <laughs> Definitely would be snacks involved. Mm. After lunch, after still snack. Lunch, All snack. right. I feel like brownies right now. I think because we talked about it earlier, but also <laughs> I want something sugary. Yeah. I always want a little pick me up in the afternoon. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna use my black pen to trace this. It might be hard for you to see what I've traced and what I haven't, but if you have a different color pen at home that you wanna use, then you can kinda of see what you did and what you didn't. Uh, either way, it'll be great. Okay. I'm just gonna start right here, face. Mm -hmm. Go over that really cute little shoulder pad. She has great posture. Does she? She does. <laughs> Makes me so happy. Okay, we're gonna go on down to the dress. So I got that part. I don't want to forget this negative space here that creates her cute little arm. Hmm. And I'm just going to go ahead and do that other little I spot just thought she here. was a conveniently princess shaped blob. <laughs> I don't Actually, I thought right she was a blob part. with a princess shaped crown. <laughs> All right. She can be whatever princess you want her to be. She's the princess of blobs. <laughs> The goal today is to get Jesse to stop drawing from laughter. 
I can't. They're all laughing at the same time. Or my pen will shake, so I'm like, don't laugh. Don't laugh. All right, let's see how we did. Peel and reveal. Oh yeah, we did it. Beautiful. I like it. Now we could have done our background first, but I just wanted to get that on there for placement. So I'm feeling good about that. Okay, now we can do our background and then we'll paint that. I think I said we'd do our background first, but I lied. I like that. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. I love this color, the way that it comes out of the bottle. It's nice and bright, but I think it'll be fun to mix it down a little bit to kind of get a softer blue. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna paint brush wet because I wanna do more of a wash than like thick paint. So I want my brush to be nice and wet and I'm gonna add more water to this paint. And because this is a watercolor postcard, we can kind of get a kind of nice wash effect with that. Hmm. Let's add a little more water there. Yeah, see how that sand kind of made it like a bluish green, like a soft blue. Just a little bit more of that in there. Okay, I'm gonna just kind of do like a swirly bit. A little bit more blue in there. I don't want it to be too green. There we go. I'm liking that. More water. All right. Yeah. And I'm you listening can, paper. You can drop some water on there too if you want some. What do you call it? Explosions. Explosions. What's the other word for it? <laughs> Blooms. 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 And I'm gonna go right over my outline because I know I'm going to come back over that with black and I don't want there to be anything in between. Mm. But I'm also liking kind of layering some of this and blending it. So just doing some blends. And you can get pick up a little more blue paint and have like a thicker layer in spots if you like that. It's just kind of cloud-like backgrounds, what I was thinking. Yeah, no, I like that. Thanks. And as I mix down, I'm just putting a little more blue in there. And you can leave white space in there or you can fill the whole thing up. It's up to you. It's your postcard. liking that. I do too. I think I should stop. Maybe just a little bit darker in that corner. <laughs> okay. Who am I? I was gonna say wait for it. I should just say I'm almost ready to stop then it wouldn't be like mm -hmm. a real hard stop. Exactly. That's a that's a good idea. Okay. To speed the process of drying, I'm just going to hit it with this real fast. But you can also just wait for those blooms to happen too. That's totally fine. And it's important to get airflow on the back there. So 
it'll kind of help straighten up how it was buckling for us a little. Ah, I like a ton, but a little bit. Unbuckle trick. That's what we call that. It's called the safety belt of the art world. <laughs> Got to unbuckle the paper. There you go. Okay. So now we can do the black. Well, I'm just using a little bit with my round eight brush again. If you have a smaller brush, you could probably do that. It's a little small, but we can make it work with this brush because it tapers, which is really nice about that brush. So I'm just gonna hit my edges first. Okay. Um, from the inside, I feel like that makes it easier to get that crisp line if you're liking that crisp line. Mm, I do like a good crisp line. Like a crispy brownie line. <laughs> you know, they just, they don't make them like they used to if they don't have crispy brownie lines. <laughs> and if you want, you can fill this in at this point or you can go and do the lines. I kind of want the opportunity to blend it in a little bit if I want. And you can do it like super solid or you can have a little bit of variation in the silhouette if you like that. And you can have your dress come right off the card if you want, which I think I'll do. And you can turn your card where it works at a better angle for you. I just need to put a little bit more paint on my brush so that it moves and glides along. If you're seeing that skippy, it's probably because you have more paint on your brush and not enough water, so you can just add a little water. You're painting the blob part of the princess really nicely. Thanks. I'm looking at it a little upside down, so I'm like, what am I doing here? All right, all right. <laughs> and I didn't paint the whole thing all at once, like all in there, because I wanted to be able to blend this and have enough time to work as it's drying and whatnot. That's smart. I'll try. It's efficient. <laughs> I think it'd turn out either way, you know, but. Yeah, it'll look good. We should have a game called Name This Painting Wrong Answers Only. Really? Yeah, we should do that. I don't know when or where or who would be involved. But that's oh, not specifically this painting, just in general you yeah. got that idea. Okay, because I was like, okay, where, where did yeah, his no. brain go? How did he get there? Well, I was, I was just thinking about how like, because her upper body is not painted to match the lower part yet. Oh. She looks like she's standing behind a rock. <laughs> I was just like, where did he go? Like sometimes people, We'll be in a conversation and then we'll just have a commercial break <laughs> and you're like okay wait well, how did we get there oh that was just a straight up commercial break like completely yeah. left yeah. the scene went for something else came back all right <laughs> i was like keenan is having a commercial break i have those all the time so like the them. challenge is coming back from the commercial break and remembering what you were actually talking about I have a friend that her and I get on so many commercial breaks. Sometimes it's a challenge to remember what the heck we were talking to begin with. We have to follow that thread all the way back to. Like, why did we call each other again? <laughs> yeah. It's kind of the same feeling as like, what did I come in the kitchen for? I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously a snack. That's my go-to. If I don't remember what it is, I say, oh, it must have been for food. And it's probably accurate. Yeah. In your case. I just love slowing down and just doing a little painting. It's 
So it feels so nice. It is nice. It feels especially nice when you're doing it for someone else. That is so true. I feel like if I'm feeling down about something or just having a rough day and snacks and emotional eating don't fix it, <laughs> then painting something for somebody else usually does. It's like, okay, I'm gonna do something for someone else and then I forget about things for a minute. And if you started out lighter value, you might need to do a couple of layers if you want it really dark. But I kind of like how this, no, I turned it upside down so you won't be able to see it as easily, but I like how it's kind of fading out. I like, going, I like the idea of it being kind of dark and then fading out to that skirt a little bit. Yeah. I like that too. And if you want a really crisp line, you could go back and outline this with your pen if you like that look. I think I'm, I think I'm okay with the way it is with the paint. But you can try that if you like it. Okay. Pretty cute. Looking super cute. I'm gonna dry that. See how it dries if I need to do any more dark areas. I'm just thinking about Morgan getting all of these postcards on the mail. Oh, that one will be a little different. And oh, yeah. Just Could like, you a, imagine? like a nice. princess parade of postcards. Seriously. Stack those up. Hmm. Make a little book out of them. Hmm. It's just like my favorite thing we do at Let's Make Art. I love it. Okay, I just saw that may need a little dark and a little more paint mm. there. I didn't say that's what I was doing, but that's what I was doing. You know? Yes. Okay. I was going to say wait for it again. <laughs> wait for it. Yeah. I mean, I think this is cute just like that. I do too. But we can keep going. Okay, so next up, you can, if you, so if you're a subscriber and you had one of these, you can use that. If you have like a white Posca pen, that'll work too. Just a white pen. And I just kind of like the idea of the magic kind of coming around her dress and whatever. Yes. So I'm just going to kind of think about that and try to draw those little... I don't know what to call them, swishies? Paths of magic. Magic path. Magic path. So I'm gonna start right here at the bottom. And I kind of, I kind of did like a little dash, like a movement, so like a long line and then a couple of dots. Oh, okay. And then maybe like a little bit of like a burst, and I just kind of followed that little bit of black paint that I have there, so it kind of works out. So you can kind of look at your background paint, and if there's something cool there to work with, and you can go for that. And then I kind of like the idea of it kind of doing a little drip off the magic path, like you was saying. I'm glad that you gave me some language to work with yeah. here. Yeah, I got you. So it's kind of dripping a little bit too. And then I'm gonna come. Overflowing with magic on the path. Yeah, I'm gonna come around 
I'm gonna cross that line so it's, you know. Wow, I I'm having a hard time thinking of words, but I hope you're following me and I hope I'm keeping my head out of the way. Let's go. <laughs> Is this Morse code? <laughs> it could be. Morse code for Morgan, you're awesome, and we're thinking about you. It is. Man, that'd be so cool if we did that. I wish I knew how or I'd do it right now. That is so neat. Yeah, I like that. And then this part can kind of just have a little bit of fun kind of dripping down there. I like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I need to add a couple more. Thoughts. We'll get into that. Let's get our movement. So we got this, and it's coming across that way, and we can come back across that way. Maybe we do like a little, little star of magic. Yeah. Yes. Nice star. Thanks. And then put some little dots between here. Boop, oh boop. man, you can make her dress a small galaxy. Boop. Oh my goodness, that sounds amazing. Galaxy princess. And then maybe that comes around. And if you want the dots on the blue to show up more then the dark blue, the blue should be a little darker. I was liking the light blue, but I wasn't thinking like, oh, I want this contrast, but now I'm thinking that could be an option for you if you want mm -hmm. that. Okay, so let's do some like drippy little dots coming off our magic. And you can spend a lot of time doing this detail or you can kind of just let the glitter do the work. The glitter is magical too. Just whatever you want. I just love how smooth these pins are, so nice. For this kind of little details. Just love it. What pen is that? This is the Jelly Roll 10. Ah, uh, the old Jelly Roll 10. By Sakura? Is that how you say that? Yeah. <laughs> He's not going to say it again. He's like, yeah, yeah that, that sounds about sounds right. Really good. <laughs> I know how to say it. Sakura. <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> I need some dripping down that arm. Yeah. You know, I think I like this better than the first time. Sometimes we just get better and we make more. So maybe you make more than one. Make a bunch. Yeah. And then try and freehand one of them. Just for kicks. I'm loving all this. So, so do I need any more magic dust anywhere? Like my I missing mean, spot? It looks really good. I like how it looks peppered, but also simple. You know? Mm -hmm. I like that. Maybe like hmm. this is fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Wait. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Just for good measure, I wanna make sure this is dry so when we put the stickles over it doesn't smear the ink. I think we're good. Okay, here comes the magic. Magic. Wait, there's more magic? Stickles. Stickles. Now you can be really detailed with this and put it exactly where you want, like with the magic path, or you can kind of just sprinkle it around. It's up to you. I kind of just scraped it on before but i'm going to try to get more detail on this one just for fun i have in the past used my finger to spread stickles yeah how'd that work for you really well 
I ended up being very shiny. <laughs> you were shiny. I was shiny, yeah. Oh, yeah, no, it wasn't for an art thing. It was for my face. Wait, what? Huh? I, I would not recommend putting this on your face. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Don't do it. It's not worth it. I now have freckles. Oh. <laughs> but I shine in the sun. Always. Shiny. Wait, what are you talking about? A vampire thing? Shiny. Uh, so I kind of just got a, got that star right in the right spot right there, kind of coming off the... Yeah, that looks great. Like that. Whoa, that was a big chunk of that. I like that. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Just kind of, I'm into it. If you don't have sound effects when you're doing stickles, who are you even? Who, who are you? Where do you? I need a little, little boop right there. Yep. Boop. That was a little too much. I mean, you can't really have too much, but. No such thing. I just wanted to have it go a certain direction. Your finger works really great too if you're just wanting to smooth it out. If you don't want it to like be kind of globby but you want it to be more even, you can do that. Yeah. Or you can kind of scrape your palette that way as well. It's whatever. See, I'm telling you, the finger works really well. I need another star where I want to put the star. Oh, I think I want to put it over there. Yeah. Are you having fun yet? Always. I love the detail work. <laughs> I lost my star. Picked it up on accident with my... All right, we'll get it back. What is Cinderella's song? If this is a trick to get me to sing, it's not going to work. <laughs> but I can't remember what it is. Are you thinking like Once Upon a Dream? Can't even remember the tune. I know you. Otherwise I'd sing it. Sorry, I got really focused. <laughs> you I didn't answer your question. Central right. has lots of songs. See, that's when I'm, I remember Gus Gus. Mm -hmm. That's what I named my mouse on my computer. You have a mouse on your computer? Well, the mouse that I use around. <laughs> it's, it's cordless, and it's on Bluetooth. So oh. to make it's sure trained. I'm not trying to hook up to someone else's mouse, I named it Gus Gus. Gus Gus. Ah, OK. I think we did it. You did it. So yeah, you can write something fun there, like all your dreams or I don't know, whatever you want. Um, or you can leave it just like this mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and send Morgan some magic. You could do the galaxy on the dress. Yes, I love that idea. I kind of want to try that. I want you to try that. I, what'd you say? You should try the galaxy what, what on the dress and, and paint it and show us, Keenan. <laughs> I love challenging him. <laughs> He's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. You gonna do it? Yeah, I'll do it. Okay. Thanks so much for being here with us and painting along with us um, this fun postcard from Morgan. If you want to share it, you can share it in our Facebook group at Let's Make Art um, Journals. <laughs> I was like, wait, what is it? <laughs> um, or you can use the hashtag if you hang out on Instagram, whatever. Um, thanks so much for being here. We'll see you next time.